Okay, this one's about a no heat call and thermostat wires. Now, let's say you have a blank reading on a thermostat, uh, or if it's a mechanical thermostat, you've turned it up, it, nothing happens, and you can't figure out what's going on. You go down to the furnace, you jump her out, say R to W, that's going to turn on the heat. Now this could be done with any of these things, you know, if the fan doesn't work, the air conditioning doesn't work, and so on. But we, uh, we'll just take the uh, heat right now. So I jump her from R to W down at the furnace, the furnace takes off and works. I jump her from R to W up at the thermostat, and it doesn't do anything. So I've isolated this to the thermostat wire. Okay, so I got to replace thermostat wire, right? Well, not necessarily. You could have a broken wire in the wall, somebody put a staple through it or something. I've, I've had that happen. Uh, but there's a really good chance that any problem with thermostat wire is going to be on the ends, like this right here. Now, this is fairly typical. For what you would see, it, the wires have been uh, wiggled around and squished back into the wall. Who knows for how many years? Probably as long as old as the house is. So, there's a possibility, and it's actually fairly common, that one of these wires doesn't have continuity. Now, understand that the wire we're using here... Let's see if I can get a little closer. It's single strand. Now, single strand wire, if it gets bent quite a bit, can fatigue and break. Now, one of these wires is broken. Now, if I look really close, I can see this one here has the insulation knocked off of it. Is it the one that's broken? Okay, there's a fairly simple way to test this to be sure which one of these it is. Uh, because this one was skinned off, they had the insulation skinned off it a little bit, I suspect this one. Well, now I'm wiggling this wire up and down, and if this wire was broken inside, it would not wiggle that way. It would have a weak spot in it where the wire is actually broken. Now let's demonstrate because I know which one it is, obviously. So look at this one. See how that wiggles like that? Let's take this other one. It doesn't do that, does it? This one does, right there. That's the broken wire. Now that could be in this case, it's red, so it's probably going to be a power lead. So nothing's going to work in the thermostat. You know, it could have been uh, uh, the green here, and uh, the fan wouldn't work, and so on. But this is a problem, and I found this in several places. Okay, is there a way to prevent this kind of stuff from happening. So, little tip we're going to come up with here. So a good idea here is to take something like this, an ink pen or something, it'd be nice to have a little longer wire, but put a little spring in it, like that. That keeps it from uh, breaking that wire quite so easily. Because when you stuff that thermostat back in the wall, uh, it may not have a lot of room in there, so you could very well get to a point after this is done a number of times where it would break off that wire. So maybe a little tip to help. So moral of the story is look at the ends of the wires uh, before you decide you have to... Uh, 
put a new thermostat wire in the wall, which, you know, can be a fairly long job, sometimes not, but oftentimes it's a fairly long job. And this, you could uh, conceivably could fix it in a very short period of time. Anyway, that's it on this one.